and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a really quick video of me actually tinkering with a new toy that I got in the mail today. It is a mouse called a Red Dragon Mammoth M801. Problem with this mouse, guys, is this is what I have to deal with to program the buttons. And there are other tools out there like X button config that can program buttons as well. But none of them really do what I want with my mouse, which is to program the side buttons to be button 4, 5, and 6. Like they're numbered 4, 5, and 6 in this image as you can clearly see. But by default they were bound to like keys on my keyboard and there was no way that I could actually look uh, at the Okay, like the the registry editor on my computer, I couldn't actually change any settings. The uh, application you see in this screenshot right here that I've got pulled up, I couldn't change the settings to button 4, 5, and 6 here either. The X button config, I couldn't change to buttons 4, 5, and 6. So my point is there was no possible way for me to actually change these buttons 4, 5, and 6 to button 4, 5, and 6. So what I ended up doing is I created a combo key setting, which is a feature in the Red Dragon uh, uh, mouse configuration tool. Um, you can actually change the buttons to different keys on your keyboard or combinations of different keys on your keyboard. So I actually set up buttons four, five, and six as a combination of keys. Uh, it's shift, uh, in, th in this picture, it's gonna be shift left bracket, shift right bracket, and shift pipe, uh, shift backslash, whatever you wanna call it. And those are three keys that I would never really press while I'm playing these games that require a gaming mouse. So I'm going to match those combo key settings to the game that I want to play with those buttons and watch what happens. Guys, it fucking works. Guys, it fucking works. Look, left click. Uh, th th this is going to be button four, I believe, and it recenters the screen as it should, which my other mouse does as well. This is my button five and my button six, and it's all been programmed. And you'll see in here under hotkeys, under communication and also under player movement, because one of those is a player movement. You see that, uh, let me see if I can find it really quick. Oh, it's under display, I'm sorry. It's not. It's under camera control. I'll get it together, guys. Notice that my mouse button 4 has been changed. Um, my other mouse has a mouse button 4. MB4 exists on that mouse, but this Red Dragon mouse doesn't have a mouse button 4 for whatever reason. I don't know what the hell you're calling it. You can see the mouse button 4. The setup configuration tool labels it mouse button 4, but the computer doesn't see it as mouse button 4. And I can't go into registry editor to actually make changes and recognize mouse button 4 or 5 or six, or any of that. So what I did instead was I copied the configuration that I made with the combo key settings that I showed you from the Red Dragon uh, configuration tool, mouse configuration tool. I copied it here. So the second set of key binds is the shift left bracket right here, done. Okay, so in the other section, uh, under communication, I did the exact same thing. So those other two buttons that I wanted, I decided I knew what they want, I wanted them to do, but I couldn't actually program them because if you actually just open this up and try to click any of those side buttons, it won't actually, it won't change anything here. Like your, your, your left click won't change anything. Your, your side buttons won't change anything. If you right click, it would work, but you see it goes to MB2, but that's not what I wanted, right? Not at all, because my mouse button two is my right click. So that wouldn't work. But you know, mouse button two works, but mouse button one doesn't work. See, just, I'm trying right now, it's not doing it. Mouse button three, four, five, not working. Now it's working only because it's actually changed to this, shift left pipe, shift, um, shift left bracket, shift right bracket, and uh, shift backslash. See, now that's actually working. Those are the buttons on my mouse. And obviously, the same on the keyboard. I could do shift backslash, but I clearly wouldn't do that. That's the whole reason to have the buttons in the first place. So let me cancel this before I make any changes. Yep, and it's that simple. Look, 
the assist me ping is shift right bracket. Done. It should be MB5, but this is a Chinese mouse, and there's no such thing. So I get shift right bracket. Fine. And then uh, area is warded, shift backslash. I never had a button there before on my other mouse, so I didn't have a set one for that. But I decided, you know, I gotta use that button for something. Let's just make it let's just make it the area is warded ping, because I haven't actually set up an area is warded ping. And so I figured there you go. So I'll do that. So here we go. Shift backslash done. So there it is. Shift backslash uh, shift right bracket as shift left bracket. And it's that simple. It should be simpler than that, though. Red Dragon, you got something wrong with your mouse, bro. It should be MB4, MB5, and MB6. But it's not. And I've been dicking with this for four hours. And I'm very frustrated with it. But I got it working. Kind of a little hack. I just programmed the buttons to be combo keys. And there you go. Done. Absolutely done. So now I can do all the fun stuff that I want to do. Woo! See? Done. Absolutely done. And it wasn't that hard. Once I decided how I wanted to make the workaround actually work, I just did it. And it worked. And not a problem. But watch out, guys. You can't do mouse button 4, 5, or 6 on this thing. Watch out. Just a heads up, if you get this mouse and you want to program for League of Legends and do mouse button 4, 5, and 6 for your side buttons and actually make them do like pings or whatever the hell you want them to do, not going to happen. Not going to happen. You're going to have to do something like this. You're going to have to set those buttons up to be something completely different besides MB4, 5, and 6, and then you're going to actually have to... Uh, and then you're going to have to copy whatever it is that you set those to onto your League of Legends. And then that's it. And then your button will work. Because every time you press that key, it's going to do the key combination, the shift left bracket, instead of the mouse button 4. The shift right bracket instead of the mouse button 5, etc. Okay? And it's that simple. It works. It fucking works. It took me four hours to, like, just figure this out. But I got a solution. It's a shitty solution. But it is a solution. And it is working. And that's all I wanted. So I'm not going to return the mouse. I'll keep the mouse because this is all I needed it to do and it's working. So fantastic. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm already dragging it around, uh, a, a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I really just wanted to point out my quick fix to actually make this mouse do what I need it to do. And great. So it works. Fantastic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.